Hello ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to uh, make a short video of my home built airplane I've been working on since well uh, March 2009. If uh, any of you guys know what a uh, J3 Cub, Piper Cub, what that looks like This is a, a replica of that. A company called Wag Arrow sells the plans. And uh, you have options of purchasing the plane as a kit. Or, if you're crazy enough like me, you can uh, scratch build it. Um, you gotta excuse the mess that I have in here. Uh, my friend and I joke about it. We call it a war zone. But believe it or not, I know where everything is. So the past couple months I've been working on the wings. I've gotten the spruce spars at a, uh, a lumber yard that's about an hour away in White Plains, New York. Some really nice good quality Sitka spruce. I want to say at this point, 99% of the plane is scratch built. There's some components that I've had to purchase, such as these uh, strut attach fittings on the spars very difficult to make just because of that uh, the way that bend is pay no attention to that hardware that's just uh, mock-up hardware I haven't specced out any of the uh, aviation grade hardware yet that's going to be a nightmare but rather than get the good hardware all dinged up I'm just using regular hardware for now. I plan on putting an 0320 in it, 150 horse. It'll have float fittings. There's the scratch built ailerons. The one thing I did purchase pre-made on the ailerons are those trailing edges. Just because of the difficult bend. For 20 bucks I decided to get a set. But everything else on the aileron has been hand fabricated. Mounts to those hinges there. Operates surprisingly very very smoothly horizontal stab which will be fixed unlike the original J3 that has a movable stab in case you were wondering how the plane was going to get out of my basement I've measured and it'll slide right out that door into the backyard. There's where normally would a jack screw be, but per the plans, I'm going with a fixed stab. A 
There's the tail post. The fuselage has been all gas welded. There's the elevators and rudder. The left elevator has the movable trim tab. Here's another piece that I have pre-purchased is these window D frames. Difficult to to make. For how inexpensive it was, I, I bought a set. Elevator bell crank. I plan on using plywood leading edges. similar to what the Pitts guys are doing. This past week I've uh, welded up this Sailoron pulley. I have the landing gear made already for it. Here's my welding rig with the Miko Midget Torch. I think I paid about $500 on this whole setup right here. One of the best torches for aircraft welding. Normally these two tubes here aren't on a original J3 that's per the plans for the bigger engine the 150 horse so 320 little beef up same goes for the X bracing and some inserts added in the tail area Got some more steel in here. My landing gear. Hand fabricated except for the weldable axles, which I've had to form the ends. Oh, light shut off. Let's get another light on. Coilover springs. That was pre-bought. There goes the light again. And the bushings welded on the ends. It's been a long journey so far. It's been a hobby of a build. I work on it about maybe a half hour to an hour a day, maybe around four times a week. If you'd like to see some pictures of the build progress, you can do so going to a uh, Google Picasa online album, and uh, I'll show you the link here in a second. Get ready to pause. And if you want to see more photos, go to this website. And uh, you'll get to see the birth of uh, this plane so far.
Thank you very much for watching my little video on my home-built airplane project, the Wagero Sport Trainer.